the two resurrections at the end of days. A Biblical Hypothesis Hypothesis During the end times, God will raise all the righteous back to life, to welcome Jesus. A thousand years later, God will raise all the wicked back to life, and judge them for their deeds. The ancient prophets foresaw two resurrections. At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Jesus taught the two resurrections. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming, and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live, for as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man, do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. Jesus predicted the resurrection of the wicked. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. Jesus' apostles announced two resurrections. This I confess to you, that according to the way, which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. The book of Revelation reveals a 1000 year gap. The souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection, blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection, over such the second death has no power but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. Please, change your way of life, and put your trust in Jesus. You have everything to gain, and nothing to lose but your sins.